Hi, my name is Joanna Popper. If you live in Miami and have a very big couch, I'd love to hear from you. I went speed dating for a new therapist. <laughs> I asked friends to set me up. Only one Miami friend raved about her therapist like a New Yorker. I called, but the therapist was fully booked. Forever. <laughs> All the good ones are taken. In therapy dating, I was forced to be the man. I had to make the plans and pay for everything. <laughs> I had to pursue some therapists aggressively and call and call and call for appointments. Being a guy sucks. <laughs> My first therapy date published Therapist Office Feng Shui. I checked out her website. It was sexy. She was good at publicity. Wait, was she a narcissist? Shouldn't I be the only narcissist in the room? <laughs> I wasn't going to call, but I heard Patty Stanger, the host for Millionaire Matchmaker, in my head. How will you know if you like someone if you don't even go on one date? I made an appointment. Ms. Feng Shui's office was beautiful. It better be. She wrote the book on it. The office had a hip address, water view, stylish leather chairs, and a white chinchilla blanket. She was tall and thin in a short skirt and fashionable shoes. I was attracted to her. <laughs> so I did what you, I do on all first dates. I talked about my ex. <laughs> I said, my last therapist wanted me to work on being single and okay. So I broke up with her. <laughs> Ms. Feng Shui nodded. She said, being in a relationship is a good therapy goal for us. But tell me about your ex-boyfriends. I said, I broke up with an ex a few months ago. I had ignored him every time he said he didn't believe in relationships. My boyfriend before that signed his divorce papers the day before our first date. My boyfriend before that lived in Philadelphia. I always pick guys who aren't available. I'm here to work on my fear of commitment. She said, you know what? Stay single for a while. The first step is building a healthy relationship with your therapist. You're going to work on us. <laughs> that felt presumptuous. There was no us. I hadn't even decided if I wanted to see her yet, and she already decided I couldn't date anyone else. <laughs> When she started to plan our next appointment, I said, I'm speed dating, and you're the first. She had some hot digs, but she was bossy. And I wasn't about to date Mr. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I wanted to be better prepared for my next date. So psychologytoday.com recommended looking at online profiles. The therapist should look appealing and confident. No glamour shots. I got it the Match.com equivalent of attractive, but not shirtless or leaning on a sports car. <laughs> the morning of my next date, I woke up 11 minutes before my appointment. Was I sabotaging? The office was in the marina and not as posh. I sat in a worn-in brown chair. I'm sorry I'm late, I said. I'm not sure why I didn't wake up. I felt flustered. Marina doctor smiled. She said, she asked if I was worried that she'd think badly of me. I said, yes. We were off to an honest start. I said, I'm speed dating for a therapist. She said, that makes sense. She had a University of Pennsylvania diploma on the wall. She looked about my age, and we'd studied at the same place. Maybe we were soulmates. <laughs> After giving my therapy history, she asked, did you talk to your ex-therapist about how you were feeling in sessions? I said, no. I didn't feel comfortable giving negative feedback. <laughs> she peered at me and said, how do you feel right now? Fine, I said. But the truth was I felt exposed. She said, I recommend that you work on an honest relationship with me or whoever you decide to work with. 
A successful relationship outside starts with a successful relationship in here. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about me? I felt uncomfortable. What did she want me to say? Your couch is so big. <laughs> but maybe talking about our relationship was good. Maybe she was getting to something that would help. It felt good, but it scared me. Like a great date, but followed by a hangover in the morning. The second visit was similar. We booked a third. A few weeks before meeting Marina doctor, I'd already scheduled a date with a third therapist. The third therapist was reportedly a good catch. But did I still want to see someone else? I felt like a cheater. <laughs> Marina doctor and I weren't in a committed relationship yet. She knew I was still dating, so I met the third therapist. Her office was well manicured and smelled of lilacs. Lilac therapist was older than me. She looked like a cool aunt. She wore a pink and black outfit. Me too. She had a wedding ring, not me. She asked, why are you here? I said, I want to be in a relationship. I want to get married. I want to have children. I'm scared I never will. But I'm scared of losing my freedom. What if I do get married and life isn't better? What if I get bored or hurt? I'm always afraid to commit. I cried. She said, fear of commitment is really fear of rejection. You're terrified. The word terrified resonated. Lilac doctor knew I wasn't just scared. I was terrified. She understood me. I made another date. I was finally feeling validated, but I kept thinking about Marina doctor. <laughs> Did I already have something good? Then again, had Marina doctor spent too much time dissecting our relationship instead of letting it unfold? Now I had two suitors. Who was my therapy prince? Did Miss Wright therapist even exist? I drove to my third date with Marina doctor, thinking it might be our last. Right away, Marina doctor asked about lilac therapist. Was she jealous? <laughs> I said, things are good. We're going to see each other again. Marina doctor said, continuing to see a few different therapists is like dating a few people. Your fears of commitment are showing up here. She was resisting the breakup. <laughs> she was trying to get me to pick her. At the end of the hour, she asked if I wanted to make another appointment. I said, I'll call you. <laughs> I broke up with her on her answering machine. Then I asked Lilac Therapist to go steady. We're celebrating our anniversary next week. So I managed to commit to one therapist till marriage do us part. Mm -hmm.